Okay, okay. Let's move on to the next question. This is uh right. this is a good one. Because I feel like you're you're the most unflappable. Like I don't think I've ever seen you rage at anything. Like <laughs> <laughs> and I've watched you play a lot of FPS, so it's just like it's interesting. Maybe, maybe Tarkov, but I feel like even Tarkov, I've never seen you get like too angry. But th the second question is, what are the things that make you the angriest? The things that make me the angriest. Oh gosh. Okay, so it's this one very specific thing, but oh. it's not like an event. It's not like a specific point in time. Uh -huh. It's like a long, prolonged thing. It's people who complain over a long period of time about uh -huh. the same thing, but make no effort to improve. Uh -huh. So I, I used to have some friends um, who would be like, oh, Shinri, you know, like, I've got this problem, it's bothering me, and, like, I, you know, I, like, it's it's bothering me a lot, and it, like, interrupts my day, you know, because mm -hmm. I have to think about it and worry about it, right? And then, like, I'll tell them, like, all right, cool, like, do you want me to, like, listen to you vent, or do you want me to give you solutions? And then they'll be like, oh, I want some solutions, right? They'll uh -huh. take it. And then, like, five, six months down the line, they'll come back and they'll still have the exact same problem. I'll ask them like, hey, did you take into consideration the, the ideas I gave you? And it was like, no, I didn't do that. I'm like, why? Because I don't want to. And it's like, then why why are you still complaining about this? Like, you really got to ask yourself, like, what what is this serving for you? Like, what kind of need is this like fulfilling that you would go out of your way not to do it, but at the same time go and complain to everyone else about it? Like, that specific thing is what I dislike the most. And then the second one is like video game characters that don't uh, communicate um, just for the sake of plots. Ah, uh, <laughs> I understand that very well. Like, if somebody that also likes like story based games, yeah, that could be really, really frustrating. It feels like yeah. contrived <laughs> and artificial, and it's like there should be no conflict here, but now there is. I feel like I'm not quite as approachable and as kind as you, but I do know people who <laughs> complain a lot, and they're usually they're not they're not like friends. They're like in my family, actually, not in my, not <laughs> not among friends, but like it is really frustrating when they just like yeah. have the same problem, and I feel like they know how to fix it. They just don't want to. So it's just like I'm just gonna stay here forever, and it's like interesting. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't want to judge them because I have, like, been in situations like that, too. But, like, when it becomes a point where, like, it starts to, like, it, like impinge on other people. Yeah. You know, like, if they go out of their way to, like, constantly bug me about the problem that I've already given them a solution for. Or, like, they haven't even attempted that, right? And it, like, extends over, like, you know, weeks and weeks. Then that's when it gets, like, very frustrating to me. We have a point of we have a point of uh, commonality now because that actually pisses me off too. I should think about like, have you found a solution to that? Because I actually I am very spineless. So like when it comes to my family member that pretty much only phones me to complain about the exact same problem for the last twelve years, I just listen and I just have to block off like two hours of my time. Ah, <laughs> uh, is there um, a way around well it? The way that I do it is mostly for like friends and acquaintances. I don't know if it like because of like the social dynamics with family, it might be a yeah. bit different, right? But like the way that I would handle it is if it's like, you know, like they start coming up to me with the same problem, I'll you know, I'll interrupt them and let them know, like, hey, by the way, you've told me about this problem before. <laughs> we talked about this, you know, six months ago. If it's still an issue and you have not taken any steps, I'd rather you respect my time and oh. not bother me with this because I've already told you everything I can, and I'm not in a position to listen to your vent at the moment. Just let them know, like, I'm not going to be available for them, not even for venting, because, like, we've, uh, you know, we've already addressed this, you know? And, like, I, I don't like it when they go back and they just concentrate, like, rehash the same, like, Pretty conversations much. over and over again. Yeah. yeah. That requires poise, maturity, a spine, willpower, fortitude, things that I lack, so I'm just going <laughs> to have to listen to them. <laughs> I, 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 it's like a, it, it took me a long, long time to, like, set that boundary and that's mm. a boundary for myself because it's like i respect my time enough that i don't want to go through this again because i know you know like we've been through this i know i'm going to feel bad i know i'm going to get frustrated i don't want to deal with this you know mess for another couple of hours so i'm just going to you know cut it short make sure that they understand like i'm here for you but not in that capacity i think that's an amazing that's probably why people trust you so much because they can tell that you have your boundaries and you're firm but you're not you're not like angry at them you just have very firm boundaries which is like comforting yeah. and maybe maybe that causes people to rely on you a lot <laughs> maybe a little bit more than they should but <laughs> interesting interesting mm. cool yeah i might have to take that lesson to heart and up, up, up 
I don't know if I can apply it to my my own private life, but I think I might try. I might rewatch this one and be like, okay, let's try that <laughs> the next time they call, and it'll be like, <laughs> I can see the phone call, just like, okay, let's watch that Vaughn. Okay, I'll say exactly that, and then we'll try it out. I'll 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 let you know how it goes if you can. Just write down the script. I hope it goes well. Yeah, well, I'll DM you. It's like okay, it went like this. We'll see. We'll see if it goes well. But <laughs> next question. Next question. 